What's up, guys? Merry Christmas 2023. Whoever's watching this on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. If you're watching this around Christmas, I hope you had a great holiday. And today I'm here to talk about Saltburn. This is now on Prime Video, and it's the second feature film from Emerald Fennell, who previously directed Promising Young Woman, which is a film that I really enjoyed, and it was one of my favorite movies of that year. Uh, this time around, she's directing Saltburn. There's going to be no spoilers in this video, but basically the plot of the film, imagine Bong Joon-ho's Parasite, but in a in just a different scenario with a, with a different cast. Um, <clears throat> it's that idea. This film is, is, is that sort of story of Barry Keoghan, Keon, however you pronounce his last name, uh, as Oliver Quick. I believe it's Oliver Quick, and he's and he's in this and he's in this college, and he gets an eye on uh, Jacob Alordi's character. One thing leads to another, and Alordi invites Kion to come to his, you know, summer home and his his home home for the summer, uh, which is entitled Saltburn. Uh, when he gets there. Uh, Certain things start to happen, and people's agendas begin to play out. Uh, this movie sort of floored me. Uh, I was watching it and not knowing what in the world I was watching. Uh, throughout the film, you know, it always keeps you guessing. You don't really know what kind of film it is, uh, or really what's going on until until like the end of the film the the movie really came together for me in the last 10 minutes um where you sort of really get things laid on the line for you i'm not going to spoil like i said but when things sort of all come together in the last 10 minutes of this movie i was like oh this is what this whole entire film was and that make that kind of excelled it for me. I went from really liking it to not really understanding it to completely understanding it and loving it. It skyrocketed and um you know man there's there's not a lot I could say about characters motivations without spoiling it and I don't want to spoil it. I want you to go in as clear-minded as as I did. And when you start to discover things, you say, you know, wow, that was kind of um, kind of insane. And I think it was extremely well written. I think Emerald Fennell could get an Oscar nomination for a screenplay for this film. Uh, not too sure she'll get in for directing. I just think that category is ex way too uh, competitive, including a lot of the other categories. Look, Best Actor, I think Barry Keown uh is great in this film and he he's a he's a total vampire in this movie if you've seen the film you'll get the reference uh he's a he's a he's a snake in sheep's clothing and he's great in this movie will he get a nomination it is doubtful because there's just so many other really excellent lead actor performances that could get in there maybe he could sneak into the fourth or fifth spot i really don't know uh we'll see rosamund pike is in this she's playing playing it with a lot of innocence um that i enjoyed i wasn't sure what kind of character she was going to be uh she's sort of one of the most uh vulnerable characters of the film Really enjoyed that performance. The whole cast, Jacob Lordy, I mean, this kid is, you know, I've seen the Euphoria show that he did um, where he plays a completely different character. Um, and, and you know, he, he's such a great actor. He's doing this. He's so good. He's in the Priscilla film. He's playing Elvis Presley. I mean, he, he's, he's just such a great actor, and I can't wait to see what he's going to do in the future because he's he's doing so much great stuff right now that I can't wait to see what he does next. But look, in the end of the day, Saltburn is a movie that might be a little too extra at points. There's like maybe two moments in the film, two, three moments in the film that I said, you know, was that really necessary or were you just doing that for the shock and shock factor of it all? 
You know, other than that, I love this movie. And I think that it's one of the most thought-provoking films of the year. And Saltburn is a four and a half out of five star film for me. And look, I'm kind of taken aback right now. I mean, there is a lot of excellence coming out. I mean, this is one of the best years for movies that I've seen in a very long time. There's been like a couple great films in the past few years, but I mean, we are just getting plowed with excellent films one after another. Maestro is a film that, look, in my original review, I gave a, a solid four. I could bump that damn thing up to a four and a half or a five. You know, I was watching it again last night. There's scenes in that movie. It's a fantastic film. Bradley Cooper is fantastic in that film. Killers of Flower Moon. You know, Oppenheimer. There's uh, The Holdovers. There are so many excellent films this year, towards the end of the year. I mean, it's just been a great year for, for, for film. So comment down below. What did you think about this movie? Uh, you know, leave your thoughts. Did you think it was too much? Did you think it was just enough? What do you think about that? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got reviews for a bunch of these movies that I mentioned. But hey, look, I just told you my thoughts went up. My opinions went up on a lot of these movies, some of these movies. So, hey, yeah, you could take that and be like, oh, okay, so this is now a five or a four and a half out of five movie. Regardless, a lot of excellent films that we're talking about right now. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. That's been it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. And until next time, over and out.